Extortion is when an adult coerces or entices a child to produce a sexually explicit image of themselves and send it to them over the internet. Once the offender gets a single image of a child, typically they'll use that image to coerce the child to produce more and more under threats of sending that image to friends at school, names on a contact list, or even the parents. Today, we are going to be talking more about the uh, Snapchat scammer since a lot of you guys really uh you know viewed that video and you know a lot of that helped you so i decided to make a new one now i want to start this video off by saying if you do need help reassuring that you're going to be fine you know with the scam um please do contact bucket slayers in uh the instagram below that will be linked and the best way to do that to reach us is follow us and then immediately i know all right let me check the messages because that's how i always kind of went off it because if you don't follow us it doesn't give me an you know when you message me it doesn't give me a notification so you can unfollow after i really don't care but that's the best way to contact us if you do need help with this situation now another thing uh before it starts but um there is uh been a lot of comments uh in the comment section with people saying you know this person saved my life um, they can help you contact them at this Instagram do not fucking listen to those so if somebody's on there saying they can help you and they have a bunch of emojis in the text do not listen to those I delete those as soon as I see them but sometimes they're there for you know a 12 hour period of time so I have to make that clear so nobody nobody pays attention to those okay let's go now let's get into it so um, I do have the chat logs of one of the scammers that tried to scam me again, but this time it was on Instagram. But the funny thing about this is it really was word for word for what happened on Snapchat. Now this is not fake, this is completely real. Now I'm gonna show I'm gonna read off the chat logs first because we have a lot more to talk about. And it, it really if you're scared about the situation, watch the whole video through. I'm gonna talk all about what you need to know, how what to avoid and what really to help you exactly so first I'm gonna read off the log so here we go so first an Instagram account adds me on Instagram and I'm like okay that's kinda weird but alright fine fuck it then right after they send me a message saying hey now immediately I'm like yep this is it <laughs> this is, I knew right from the beginning so they say hey and then I say back sup they say how are you doing and I said good how about you I said same where are you from now that's that's when I knew 100% this is a scam this is it because that's one of the key fucking things they always say right in the beginning where are you from now that's obviously you know that's I've had people text me in the past where it wasn't a scam and asked me like you know where am I from so it wasn't too unusual but just wait till we get to the next log so I say I'm from Pennsylvania and they say oh okay I'm from Ohio you in college or work now that's that's kind of strange because I actually am in Ohio and another thing they'll always ask is do you work or you know do you have money or some something like that because they want to know so yeah, they always ask you do you work so I said no I just work now Another thing they'll ask you, do you live alone? Now, I don't understand why they ask me that, or why they ask you this, but I always found it kind of fucking creepy. Like, are you going to come to my house or something? Like, what? So I said, no, I just live with friends. They say, okay, so what do you do for fun? Now, when this initially first happened to me, which I'll talk about a little bit later on, if you haven't seen the first video, but... This is a this is really word for fucking word what happened. And it, it's literally word for word from, you know, a lot of people. So it's the same thing but just on Instagram. But same thing happened on Snapchat. I'll tell you what to look out for, but I said not much, just play games and guitar and stuff. And that's exactly what I said last time. So they said nice. I play games and hang out with friends. Now again, what's weird about this is it's literally word, I'm going to say this a lot, but word for word for what happened the first time on Snapchat. 
So I said, cool, I pretty much do the same. And they say, okay, nice. Well, I'm kind of bored right now. Don't know if you're down for some fun. <laughs> so fun can mean a lot of different things. So I'm like, okay. So I say, what kind of we talking? 1v1 snipers only? They said, like if you and keep secrets, we can have fun. And I'm sure you're going to love it. You know, I'm sure I'm going to love it. So then I say, sure, man. And I, I didn't mean to send that voice message, but they said, okay, are you alone? If we could start. And how am I sure you're going to send back to? And then I said, here, I'll send you a video of who I am so you know I'm cool. They said, okay, though. So are you alone if we could start? I said, hold on, the video sending. And I sent them this video because I couldn't carry on any longer. Because I did not want to actually be sent any um, any nude pictures, even though it's not them. Obviously, it's a dude sitting in a chair, like like how I, it's it's a it's an Indian guy sitting in a chair, but still, um, you know, receiving nude pictures, no matter what it's from, can you know affect you in a bad way. So you should never never receive them, never send them. Obviously, but I'm gonna talk later on that. Talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. So. I sent them this video. What's up? So, my name is and today you're in luck because I run a YouTube channel and um I like to catch scammers just like you. So, you kind of fucked up. Oh, and by the way, uh, the last person who did this to me, I tracked their IP. So, see you, man. And then they said, "The fuck, lol." So, and then after that, I sent them this voice message, which I'll play on screen right now. So, I know exactly what you're going to do. What you're going to say, oh, you want to have some fun, man? And then you ask for, oh, can I see some pictures? Then people send the pictures. And then what you do is you screenshot them. And then you, you say, I'm going to send these to all your followers unless you give me hmm, $1,000 or something. So, yeah, you kind of fucked up there. So, as you can see, I ended it pretty shortly. But that's initially what happens. Now, I there's been countless other accounts that have messaged me, you know, trying to pull the scam. If it's on Snapchat, I've had one more try it on Snapchat. I've had three try it on Instagram. Now, on the Instagram, I didn't get all the chat logs because I deleted them right after. Then after, I was like, oh, shit. I should have saved those. I could have put it in the video, but, you know, I didn't. Now we're going to look into what you should avoid. Now obviously in the chat log, they're going to ask you, first off, where are you from? Now obviously that's not the weirdest question ever, but that's one thing to look out for. And obviously accounts adding you is out of nowhere. That's a little bit weird. Especially look at the, um, look at the profile. Just look what it says, dude. You got to know that's a scam. All right. And another thing you really got to watch out for is when they ask, you know, do you work? That Now that's when you're like, okay, yeah, this this is it. Scammer, yeah. And then obviously if they're asking you for pictures. Now you should never send, you know, any type of uh, nude pictures at all. That That's, just no. Just, just no. I understand some of you people, you know, you're in kind of the heat of the moment. You know, you kind of just... Don't think. Thinking with the wrong head, if you know what I mean. But never send any type of nude pictures. Even if it's somebody you know. No matter if you're a boy or you're a girl. Because that shit's getting leaked. Not from the scammers. I'm talking to real, I'm talking like to people you know. That shit is going to get out there. Promise you that. You don't know how many times I've walked into a school bathroom. And it, I don't even know the fucking guys. It's like, <laughs> look at this girl's news. It's like, all right, well, shit, man. <laughs> but that's that's a completely different situation. I'm just letting you know. But with these, all right, so now we're going to talk about really if you should be scared or not. Now, you should not be scared at all. Because if, even if you do or don't send the uh, nude picture, what you want to do is immediately block them and lock down any account that you have sent them you want to make it private and just carry on ignore them because if you give them attention and what they're looking for they're just going to keep on blackmailing 
keep on blackmailing and you're not going to get out of it. So the sooner you block them and get out of it, the you'll be fine. Now, there was somebody who messaged me. He wanted me to include his story in this video. Now, his situation was a little bit different. So, this scam happened to him probably, a, I want to say a month or something, a couple weeks before uh, he contacted me. But, initially, um, you know, he got scammed, just like, you know, how most people do, exact same way. But, uh, I feel for this guy, man, but fuck, man, he sent him over $6,000. Over six thousand dollars and never blocked them. Ever. He kept on talking to him. He kept on, you know, giving them, you know, what they want. Now there was a point where he's like, you know, I can't keep sending them money. That's when he contacted me. And I tried my very best to help him with the situation. But you know, I don't think it went so well for him. Cause one day he texted me. He said, you know. I'm fucked. I'm like, what do you mean you're fucked? Never got a response back. Ever. To this day. So, I'm I'm assuming the worst. Like, he... Sh he I'm assuming he's fine. Because I have I had talked to him one-on-one. -on -one, which I will talk to you guys one-on-one -on -one if you do need help with the situation. Like, face-to-face, -face, a camera, and shit. But yeah, he's, he's a... He was a nice dude, you know. He was cool. He said he would never, you know hurt himself over any of this stuff which is something you should you guys should never ever do is hurt yourself over this kind of thing but we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute but, but yeah he sent me um you know i'm fucked so i'm like what do you, what do you mean you're fucked then ah, just out of nowhere never heard from him again now initially before this he was talking about coming on this video with me to do the next part but unfortunately that, that that can't happen right now so if I do hear back from I'm sure you'll see him because I'm assuming what happened was um they sent the picture to his uh, family because they had his family's number they hacked his accounts they hacked all his shit which is why you should block them immediately before they're able to do any of that now most scammers don't do that they'll just kind of like you know just carry on, you know, they don't know what to do all this hacking stuff, but some of them do so it's really important to not send money and block them immediately, now what I think happened is they sent it to his family or his dad specifically and I'm assuming he took all his shit away cause I haven't heard from him on Snapchat or Discord, so I'm just assuming that, you know, his shit is taken away, but at the same time, you know, you never know what could really happen. I'm hoping to hear back from him soon. If you see the video, fucking contact me. <laughs> but that that's that's a whole other story. I'm sure he's fine. But but that that's a good example of why you should never send money. Cause the second you send money, they're gonna keep going. They know, okay, this guy can this guy sends money. So let's let's keep going at him. Try even harder to blackmail him. And you never wanna do that. So now we're going to talk about what happened to me. So, the same scam happened to me like three months ago. And, well, my situation worked because I didn't actually send any nude pictures. Now, what I did is I made another fake account. I added that account. I said, what I said was, um, you know, um, somebody told me just to send you money. So I said, okay, send it to this. And I sent them a PayPal link. And then what I did, <laughs> the PayPal link was a fake link. So I got their IP and <laughs> scared the shit out of them with it. Now, I've tried to do that to multiple scammers. It, it works sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes they're like, yeah, I'm not clicking this link because I know what's up. But that's what happened to me. And I sent a video out to all my followers if you want to know more about it, uh, it's in the last video called Snapchat Scammers and How to Avoid It. But there's a lot of things I left out of that video, so that's why I wanted to, you know, kind of make this one. Now, there were um, other stories, you know, I've read about, or you guys even put in the comment section. This has happened on, um, uh, like, matching apps. 
It's happened on Tinder. It's happened even on Omegle. It's happened on oh, this one app. It's called um, Ad Chat. Yeah, that shit is so scammy. Somebody texted me about that. They're like, yo, this thing is just fucked. So I went and checked out and made an account on it. It's just filled with like hundreds of fucking scammers, dude. Never use Ad Chat. I will put it up on the screen. Fuck that app. But yeah, somebody um somebody put in the comments that it happened on Omegle. Can you fucking believe that shit? On Omegle. So the people who were out there who were on there looking for uh, you know Omegle relationships, as you'll see a lot in the uh, upcoming Omegle videos, it's very hard to find people. Because <laughs> they're all sitting there looking for fucking girls to talk to on Omegle. But somebody put in the comments, you can go read it. It's there. But I put in the comments, you know, you know, they're talking to this person on Omegle, then they got their Snapchat, and then the scam went on from there. So, you know, don't trust people online in general. That's a whole nother fuck situation. And we're going to talk about where these scammers are from and really, you know, what they want. Why do they do it? Well, one, why do they do it? Money. Money. That's why. Money. They don't care about exposing you. They don't care about sending it to your followers. They just want money. And if you do not give them the money, then they're going to move on. And then where they're from, they're from Lagos, Nigeria. I learned that out. I learned that from um, the one guy I was talking about who sent $6,000 to the scammer. He had their phone number, he had their emails, he had everything they contact him on. I just straight up went and called the fucking guy. <laughs> he called, I, he answered the phone, he's in some Indian accent. He's like, what do you want? I was like, is this a crusty crab? He's like, no, this is Patrick. <laughs> yeah, I asked him if this was a crusty crab. Just to see, you know, who it was. And he actually answers. Yeah, they're from Lagos, Nigeria. I've had other people tell me. Uh, you know, they're from Lagos, from they found their location to whatever else. They're they're from Nigeria. They're all from there. All the scammers, pretty much. Now, it's, it's weird because they text like, you know, they're from the U.S. You know, they sound like they're from the U.S., which is weird because if you ever texted like a... Like an Indian call center or something, you know, they, they, you know, it's an Indian call center, you know, but this, they sound like legit, so you really got to watch out for that. Now, again, uh, with the last video, what really made me, you know, make the new one is, um, is you guys, I did not expect that video to do as good as it did, uh, which is still not a ton, but for me, it's a fuck ton. 2000, it's got like 2,000 views, 100 and something comments. I've had like probably 50 people contact me, which, you know, I love when you guys do that. Even if, even if it's for something, you know, shitty that happened to you, you know, I love helping. I'm not going to charge you money. But yeah, I've had you guys tell me all types of crazy fucking stories, dude. I wish I can like read all of them, dude. Maybe I'll make that another video if, oh, I have to ask people, that's okay, but... I've had people tell me, you know, uh, you know, the video helped them, even stopping suicides. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I could help. You know, I can only try my best, you know, to, you know, if you, you know, want to get rid of the scammer completely, like get their account shut down. You know, there's only so much I can do, which I've been looking for, you know, someone to actually help me with this, to take these accounts down. Because I'm getting sick of these accounts, man. I've had so many people message me. There's only so many I can actually help. I can reassure you that you're going to be fine. And that, you know, nothing's going to be sent out. But it's really getting the accounts shut down is the problem. So if, you know, anybody out there wants to help with this, please contact Bucket Slayers. In the description. I've tried contacting people from big to small to no followers. Nobody wants to help. So, 
you know, it's kind of just up to, to, to me, I guess. But yeah, again, with sending nude pictures, never send those out. Ever. That shit will fuck you up. Now, if, even if you send them to, um, you know, people you know, which I already talked about. We're going to talk about it more now. Even if you send them to people you know, that's it's really worse than sending them to the fucking scammers. You know how many people's shit has been fucking leaked. Like shit, man, in the fucking four years of high school I was in, I just got out. But fucking so many, so fucking many. So yeah, that's worse than sending them to the fucking scammers. So just don't fucking send them. Do not fucking say, even if it's the heat of the moment, you you, you got to think back to this video. What did Bucket Slayer say about sending pictures? Don't fucking send them. Just don't. Okay? I want to make that point very, very clear. Never send pictures. Now again with the Snapchat scammers, um, they can't even do it with a picture of your face. They don't need your fucking, your, your uh, nude pictures to scam you with. That's what happened to me. I sent a picture on my face. Told, when they asked for nude pictures, told them to fuck off. But no, no. They took my face picture, they put it side by side with some shit they found online, and tried to black me with that. This video is a lot of rambling, I'm very sorry, but. Yeah, please do contact me if you would like to help, uh, you know, people out with this situation. If you have any ideas on how to take these accounts down, or scare the accounts, or, you know, just anything, really. There's only so much that I can do. I'm one person. And, you know, there's a lot of scammers. A lot of scammers, and half the time, it doesn't work. Because I only have a couple shots at it before they, you know, know, oh, this person's gonna, um you know, try and get my IP, or they're gonna try and expose me, because they know. So, if you have any ideas, leave it in the comments, or contact me. I would love to work with you. Now, another thing, this is a really serious part, which really made me make these videos. If you didn't see the last one, which you should, go go watch it. But, um, there was, um, a few suicides, actually, from these scammers happening now you never want to do that obviously the scammer is not gonna ruin your life you're gonna be completely fine but you know you really gotta learn to not care what people think about you no matter what it is now I know obviously caring what people think about you in exposed pictures is two different things but that plays a role into it yeah this video is getting kinda long so we're going to end it off on, obviously, if you need help, contact me. I'm not going to make fun of you. Or, you know, I'm, I, if you ask anybody who has contacted me, I'm very helpful. I will help you get through the situation. You can even talk to me face to face. I've done that multiple times with multiple people. It's, it's been great. But, but, yeah, I'm here to help. This is why I'm making the video. That's why I'm talking about all these you know, f fucked up topics. Now, I know Bucket Slayers is kind of, well, it's kinda not kind of really known, but it's known for Omegle. Now, there's going to be more Omegle. I have a few videos that need to be edited that will be coming out, and I also have another video planned, which is going to be great, but I need a helper. So I'm going to go look for a helper. Anyway, guys, stay safe. Uh, watch out for the scammers. You're going to be fine. So, I'll see you guys at in the next Omega, I think. So I'll see you guys later.